Sorry, I don't know that. Bloody Nora, I'll be on the floor. <laughs> Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming literally one of my favourite videos to watch. I love watching these. I tend to watch them in the middle of the year just to get myself excited. But it is a what I got for Christmas. And you probably like this as well if you're like me and you're very nosy. And you like to watch people open presents and see what they get. So yeah, I people always have to do a disclaimer which I generally think is quite silly because it's Christmas and some people get gifts for Christmas and that's just how it is. I am not bragging in any way shape or form and I'm so 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 thankful for everything that I got. I got a lot more than I ever expected this year and like a lot of things are very very helpful to us so I'm very very grateful for them. To start with what um, my boyfriend got me Ben. Last year we went really over the top, way too over the top for more than it needed to be and this year, seeing as we've just bought a house and, you know, we're trying to stop our spending a little bit more, we just done stockings for each other this year, which was fine for us. This all we needed, all we wanted. So first of all, from him, I got this chocolate palette. Oh, my nails in every video are so disgusting. <laughs> I do apologise. But yeah, so I got this chocolate palette, which is the cherry one from i heart revolution which is a brand that i am loving at the moment i'll cover that mirror but look at them colors they're so pretty i really love it it's perfect for you know like traveling and stuff not that we can travel at the moment but it's one of them perfect ones just keep in my bag all the time and i also got this one which is one that i've been wanting for a while but just haven't managed to pick up myself it is genuinely stunning And I've actually got it on my eyes today, if you can see that. But yeah, I really, really love that. I think that might have been one of my favourite presents from him. Really love it. I then got these, which is a brand that I bought my friend for her birthday. So I bought, I bought my friend these for her birthday. And I really wanted them for myself anyway. And it's a beauty laundrette from Superdrug, I believe. This one here is some body wash and some whipped body moisturizer and then this one is a milky body moisturizer and i love that they look like cleaning products i think that's such a cool thing that the brand do i then got this which is a hairbrush and comb set and it's mini mouse which is great because i love disney and also i really needed a new hairbrush to be fair so yeah i was very happy with that one and i also got this little gift set here sorry the light keeps reflecting off the plastic and off my glasses but i can't see very well so i'm keeping them on today but yeah i got with a little bath bomb and a coconut body fragrance so yeah that's very very nice i'm very excited to try that one as well because that bath bomb looks very very glittery and then oh he also put this in there because it's my favorite drink and i love it so much i drink loads and loads of it he said he wanted to get like a like a tank of it almost, but they don't sell them, so I didn't, but I'm very happy with this. <laughs> like this is like one of the only things that I've really asked for this year. And again, it was because we're moving into our own house and it is Mrs. Hinch, Hinch Yourself Happy, the book. So I'm very excited to give this one a read and learn how to keep my house tidy because I just really want to take care of our house. Like, I really want to look after it and keep it clean. And don't get me wrong, it's not going to be spotless all the time because, sorry, there was a hair on it. It's not going to be spotless all the time because it will be lived in, but I want to do my best to look after it. So I'm really happy I got this because I was really, really wanting it. And although he said no main presents, he did kind of get me a main present. And I've um, recently bought like an old mini, not an old mini, it's 2002 mini, because I'm learning to drive. And it's got a CD player and I really wanted an aux lead for it or like an aux stereo. So he got me a stereo for my car where I can put in a USB to USB-C. USB-C, is that right? The one for an iPhone? I think that's right. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that because once I pass, I can actually listen to my tunes, which makes me very, very, very happy. 
So yeah, that's everything I got from Ben this year, which was nice. It was nice to do stockings. And we got up like a little extra early and opened them together in bed. So that was really nice. Next, I'll do what I got from Ben's parents. So they done me a stocking, which was really nice of them. So they got me so a bath bomb and some bath rocks. And I love baths. I love having baths. I like candles to go around my bath fizzes melts the lot i love it all so very excited to have a nice pamper evening with them um they also got me this which is the nivea unicorn moments it's like a little pamper set so it comes with a mask um a lip balm and a moisturizing cream so i'm actually really looking forward to using that as well i think i might have like a little pamper night and do it all to be fair really treat myself some chocolates of course some smart some pastel highlighters because i love to do like crafty things and i keep a diary and i do scrapbooks and all that goodness so these will really come in handy for things like that they also got me some soaps which smell so good what flavors are what flavors what scents are they so lemongrass rose petal and eucalyptus leaves they are so just these here really lovely and again i'm gonna save them for the house to go in the kitchen downstairs toilet in the bathroom oh my god they smell so good and they then got me a new purse which is so helpful because i really needed one i have like a tiny little like almost like a coin bag for my purse which is a bit ratty so i'm really glad about this and it's got big open pockets a lot of card holders and then lots from river island it's very nice and then it's also got a coin side there as well they also got me in my stocking this cocktail book and me and ben have been discussing about um maybe in our back garden like making like a little um like a bar or something so this would be really cool to have out there but it's like cardboard pages and it has a cocktail on each one Bloody Nora, blueberry G and T. This one here, two handfuls of blueberry, six shots of gin. Six. I'll be on the floor. And also in my stocking, I got these, which were actually probably one of my favourite presents from them. So it's the first two Harry Potters because I've never read the Harry Potter books and I love to read. So my New Year's resolution one of my goals for next year was to read all the harry potter books i've been wanting these particular copies because i love the artwork on the front i really i think it's so cool and on this one as well i think they're so cool so yeah, i'm really excited to read them and finally understand the hype of harry potter the last thing i got in my stocking from them was a mixer oh is that upside down no it isn't a mixer so that was for me and Ben, again, for our house, because recently I've been really liking baking, as you've seen from my last video. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, stop listening. Gosh, how rude. Um, so yeah, we've got a mixer, because I've been really enjoying baking at the moment. So for like my main, <clears throat> for like my main presents under the tree, they got me this jumper, which is the coziest thing ever. And Ben got like a grey version of it, so we're a bit matchy. And we both are obsessed with fluffy things. I really, really love that. I think it's from Next, if anyone's interested. I'm pretty sure it is. I think that's what it says on the tag. My last present from Ben's parents was a lovely Warren James box. And they really shouldn't have, because I did not expect them to buy me something like this. But um, basically last year I got the necklace from my brother that matches it. So I was really, really happy to open these. But it is these beautiful dream catcher earrings. I love them so much. I wore them all day yesterday along with the necklace. Do I have it? I'll show you my necklace actually. Matching necklace that goes with them. And they look really cute when it's all worn together. So I was very, very, very happy with them and very thankful for them. I love them. And our last present from Ben's parents was a joint present for our home. And it is this microwave, which we're so happy with because, let me put that to the side while I talk about it. 
which we're really happy about because we've got the matching kettle and toaster for our house that goes with that and it'll look really nice on our nice marble sides we're really really happy with that and we were very very thankful we didn't expect them to get us a big gift like that so thank you very much jackie and richard next up i'll show you what ben's brother got us so he again bought us something for our house and like i said we've got um like a marble design um kitchen worktop so he bought us these lovely marble knives but no i really like them i think they're lovely and taylor's eyewitness so i think it's a good brand for knives to be fair because that's the brand that i was originally looking at for knives anyhow so yeah i really really love them i think they're lovely so yeah thank you liam for them so next i'm going to show you what i got from my brother harry and then his girlfriend nikki so the first thing i opened was this it says reserved for the dog again for our new home i'm picturing it on the sofa next to a dash hound hopefully if i can get one definitely not straight away but eventually i'll have a dash hound in my life and that's a promise to myself but yeah, i really love it when i opened it i thought it was um a friend's pillow because that kind of font looks like the friend's font but no i really really like it and it's yellow on the back next they got me um the mug that kind of goes to that pillow so it's this one here and it says, sorry, I can't, I have plans with my dog. And then it comes with a little dog toy. And again, I'm going to save that until I get my dog one day. Because I have, I have four dogs overall. I have three that are at my mum's and I have one that is here with my boyfriend. Oh, he must have heard me talking about him because off he goes. My goal is to have a dog just of my own. That's just our dog, mine and Ben's dog. And they want it to be a dash hound and that's the perfect size toy for a little dash hound puppy so let's hope that i will not be able to see anyone because i'll have plans with my dog then they got me a little dash hound hand warmer which is very cute and then um, last year i can't go with my nails i'm so sorry they're disgusting this last year ben's mum got me um one with a pug on so now i have one for each hand to pop in my pockets and i think i'll put them in my work jackets because it gets very chilly at work they also got these for me and ben because squishies are my favorite sweets and ben loves these this was maybe one of my favorite gifts they got me because i thought it was really thoughtful so it is a notebook with photos of me singing and my music photos on it, it says abby carla it says acm there for Abicala music and inside it is just nice lined paper but I love it I absolutely love it I think from the songs that I write from now on so I'm not going to include all my old ones in but from 2021 onwards I think I'm going to put all of my songs in here because I think I've got a lot better at it and I'm starting to get really proud of the things that I'm writing so I'm really excited to use this and I actually like the photos of me on the front. And there's a photo of me on the back as well. Does that make me look self-obsessed? Maybe. The next thing they got me was very naughty. I told them it was very naughty the second I opened it. But um, well, a couple of years ago, my brother bought me a Pandora bangle. And I don't, I really need to get it cleaned because I haven't been wearing it recently because it's, um, it's gone, gone a little bit funny. I really need to get it cleaned but they bought me a new charm for it it's, um two music notes a treble clef and a bass clef i really hope i've got that right and that isn't the wrong name i did study music for two years <laughs> five years i studied music for sorry but yeah i really really love it and what's odd is this exact thing was the first tattoo i ever wanted behind my ear i didn't get it but that is very crazy that they got that for me and that's what i wanted as a tattoo but i love it so much and i can't wait to put it on my bracelet and they got me is a mug you generally think i really like dogs and dash hounds but it's a little reindeer dash hound i love it and inside it says dash hound through the snow my um hot chocolate machine like it makes quite small hot chocolates and this is quite a shortcut so it's going to be perfect for a nice hot chocolate next Christmas. 
I'll still use it even when it isn't Christmas because it is just a mug at the end of the day and you know it still holds tea. I love it so much it's so cute. I'm so happy with that. That was another one of my favourite presents. I'm not going to lie. Anyway my final present from them was a nightmare to get out of the box so it's probably going to be a nightmare again. And it is this gorgeous jar with some twine. Is that twine? Is that what that's called? And inside, so there's like a few different coloured cards and each one is like a different thing. So the red one, you write down nice surprises that you've had. The green one says the beauty of nature. The yellow is moments that made you laugh. Blue is memories worth saving. And pink is little things you're thankful for. So it's like a memory jar. Embrace mindfulness is the name of it. Ah, oh, I've just noticed there's something printed on here that says... Enjoy the little things in life. For one day, you'll look back and realise they were the big things. That is very sweet. But that's everything my brother and his girlfriend got me. And they genuinely spoiled me. They did not need to get me that much. I'm so, so thankful that they did. And a lot of the presents were very meaningful. Um, next, I'll show you what my little brother Alfie got me. Alfie got me this photo frame. Bless his heart. <laughs> and I'm going to put a photo in there of Christmas Day. And that's going to go on my dressing table, I think. Bless him. So next, I will show you what my parents got me. They got me something I really wanted. And new pyjamas, which I'm a sucker for. And they've got a dog on. I wore them last night to bed, so they're probably a bit creased now. <laughs> is it? But it says, is it too late to be good? I love them. They're so cute. I really like them and I nearly bought them myself, I'll be honest. So I'm quite glad that I didn't. And they come with these bottoms and they've got like an elasticated waist, which are really comfy and genuinely fit me like a glove. So I was very, very happy with those. And in my household, it is not Christmas unless you get a pair of slippers. And I got these cute little reindeers with tartan antlers. I'm very happy with that. But they're really sweet. They also got me some nice thick socks, which again are lovely for work because my feet kill me at work. And they've got like little bubble snowballs on and they're little penguins. And my sister got them as well, so now we're matching, so that's very cute. They also got me this game. I know that I'll win this game, that's what I can say. My parents also got me this eyelash set. Which is really nice because oh, it also comes with like, oh they're really good quality actually, they're like metal. They also come with this applicator, but they're really nice, they feel so fluffy. And I like that they're in a glittery case that has a mirror on them, so it's like a reusable thing and it can keep the eyelashes nice and safe and I can wash them and reuse them. So I was very excited about that. So the next thing they got us was a joint present. And it was very, very thoughtful. And it was something that I'm going to put into in our living room. And it is a photo. Let me get it so it doesn't... Of me and Ben at the sunflower fields that we went to this year. And the photo frame is so stunning. I love that mirrored, um, like, swoosh that's gone through it. I think it's gorgeous. And it's a really good quality photo frame. It's like velvet on the back. I love it so much. I think it's so lovely. My parents also gave us £100, which they really didn't need to do, to go towards house things. And we think we're going to buy ourselves a new mattress with that. It doesn't sound very exciting, but it is for us. <laughs> the last present they got us was the most exciting thing in the world. This giant dash hound. Oh, he's trying to get them crunchy bits down his body though. But um, what is he? A draft excluder. And this is to go in front of our French doors in our living room. <laughs> I love him. I have appropriately named him Drafty. <laughs> I think he's so cool. Love him. He's so cute. That is everything that I got this year for Christmas. I was absolutely spoiled this year. And I'm so, so, so grateful for everything we've got. It's really helped us out with things for our home and the money that we were given to buy more things. 
I know it wasn't the same this year, but I'm sure next year we'll top it 100% and it'll be the best Christmas we've ever had. But I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you had a lovely one with your family and I will see you next year. Bye bye.